Update 1 on Tropical Storm Dora, which has formed this morning in the eastern Pacific. With winds now of 50 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,001 millibars as of 3 p.m. UTC, June 25th, it was at 14.7 degrees north, 101.7 degrees east. No warnings are in effect right now, but a small deviation in track could possibly trigger tropical storm watches and warnings in Mexico as the system moves towards the northwest, but we do not currently anticipate that. What we do anticipate is that Dora will become a minimal hurricane in the next uh, 48 hours as it moves towards the northwest and it appears beyond the three day mark as it moves out towards the open ocean it will weaken really quickly and substantially. It looks like it's going to be short lived no more than four days long that the track of Dora we're expecting. Right now it's 192 miles southwest of Acapulco, Mexico, 345 miles southeast of Manzanillo as well. Stage 2 on the CDPS scale right now and only barely a stage 2 at that. It will probably rise as the wind field grows. And this is where we expect the track will take it over the next few days. Beginning on Sunday of course and then moving towards the northwest, tropical storm force winds will be probably just offshore, hurricane force winds will then take hold we expect on Monday and it will fizzle out rather quickly beyond Monday as we enter Tuesday and Wednesday as it makes its closest approach to the southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula but it won't get particularly close is what we're currently expecting. Don't forget storms in the East Pacific can intensify unexpectedly. It could possibly become beyond Category 1 but we'll see. I doubt it. Right now sea surface temperatures are rather warm and as you can see they drop off a cliff uh, in around two days time. That's half the reason for um, its expected weakening. Um, wind shear may also rise as it gets over there but at the moment it's very low right now. Near nil actually in terms of wind shear so it's got a very good window in the next 48 hours for some sustained and perhaps um, quick intensification. We'll see. Here's the system right now. It was always pretty broad uh, but at the moment it looks not so broad as it was initially uh, and as you can see the northern side of this storm is looking a little bit bare there uh, but that will probably change in its favour uh, over the coming hours. Of course rainfall from the system is go probably going to be the biggest threat in Mexico along the coastline there. A lot of storms have notably caused flooding and landslides even though they haven't made a direct landfall. This one will probably not get too close for comfort uh, but rainfall will be significant we expect in some locations and there could be some possible localised flooding. Elsewhere in the tropics we've got Invest 97W which has just passed over Guam and the rest of the uh, Mariana Islands um, and it's looking a little bit uh, disorganised right now. One or two of the models said that it would become a weak and short-lived tropical storm but at the moment it doesn't look like much is going to go in its favour as it moves towards the west-northwest. We'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, but as you can see, a little bit of rainfall being delivered to some of those islands, in particular Rota um, and Saipan further north as well. Not so much on Guam um, and it will probably be away from those islands within the next 12 hours. That's all we have in the tropics right now. Let's take a look at the numbers. We're now up to 20 tropical storms in 2017 so far uh, with the two depressions and add to that three category one hurricane equivalent storms, two, one category two, two category threes, one category four, one cat five. As you can see, those are the numbers at the top, the typical values that we get. Um, 41 tropical storms is our usual. And looking at the total numbers, 28 we're up to so far for tropical storms or stronger. We're going to eclipse 1900 soon, but that's no main feat, of course. We've still got the lowest accumulated cyclone energy to date since 1954. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time with its tracker. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter, search Force 13 all in text to find us on there. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype, that's F O O L 1 3 and an extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.